Hey guys, Armor Gun here with another episode of Gun Vlog. That's kind of what we're gonna. This, this segment has finally morphed into the full on vlog. So, this is gonna treat it as like a, a wrap up for the previous gun of the week, an intro to the next gun of the week, talking about some cool accessories and the night vision update, and then a couple other cool things that have just come in this week. So, kicking things off with the Caltech KSG, that was the most recent gun of the week. Had a lot of fun with this thing. Honestly, in terms of a dual shotgun, my final opinion on this thing is. It is, it is unique, it is reliable, it is pretty inexpensive, and honestly, for what you get, I think this is an awesome, awesome package. Um, there's different versions now, there's a super long one, there's an even shorter one if you're gonna go with an SBS, but the original is kind of right, right on the money. Six plus six, or sorry, seven plus seven plus one capacity, even more if you go with the mini shells, which these things function apparently super reliably. I didn't get a chance to run any of those yet, but really liked it. And honestly, even though I just, I've jumped in a Jeep with this thing and just kind of felt, you know, what it's like jumping in and out of a Jeep or jumping in and out of a car with this thing. And honestly, it's awesome. This thing is, is so compact, so tight and optics ready. There's companies out there that are making lots of cool accessories for this thing. I just, I'd say go for the platform. It's going to treat you well. Just uh, be mindful of this front grip. I probably shouldn't have this one on here. Again, I talked about that a bit more in my overview video, why I made the compromise and went with this, but in general, you're going to be want to be really um, cautious with what goes up front there. So that's that's that. Uh, last week's gun gear, the video just went up yesterday, was this little guy by Valhalla Tactical, the Rook adjustable modular offset mount made of titanium. Not cheap, but really, really cool system. Going into this week, we have the PWS Diablo. Really cool system. Oh, this thing, it's a long stroke piston. Uh, upper, which is, so think think of an AK, because it's the same action that an AK-47 employs, and this thing is super reliable. For being a 7.75 inch, you get this thing in 223 or 556, or I guess it's 223 wild, so these are chambered in. Um, 223 wild or 762 by 39. Really, really cool. Again, they come with M-lock rails now as well, and that adjustable gas regulator is uh, makes all the difference if you're dialing this in. So I had some initial problems with mine at the range, Dialed it in and then boom, it was amazing after that. Soft recoiling, surprising again for a seven and a half inch. Just, oh, fantastic system. I had a great chat with PWS. Got a couple really cool kind of background information from those guys. So I'll be uh, talking more about that in the overview and in, I guess, next week's gun vlog. And the reason I have two flashlights on here is because Olight, I just got another one in from Olight here. This is their PL2 Valkyrie. Uh, so this one is is uh, dual CR123 batteries instead of the instead of the uh, magnetic rechargeable, which is the only downside. But this thing throws off a ton of light, and I'm trying to decide which setup I like better on here because with this this pick mod, I guess this is the the pick lock because it's the, or sorry this is the pick mod the key mod style. There's also the pick lock now, but they got this cool system where up front here on these uh, PWS rails they integrate Picatinny with the you know M-Lock or key mod, whatever your rail is. So you can get, you can get a, th a thing like this really nice and tight, and I really like that. So both of these, the, the, uh, the Inforce and the Olight fit about, about the same distance away from center. I'm trying to see which I like more going forward. And uh, yeah, so that's where we're gonna play with that as well. Oh, what else can I tell you guys? Gear going in this week, we have from Law Tactical, I love these patches, by the way. They're just so cool. Look at all that detail in there. Anyways, Law Tactical, we have a Law folder for the HK417. So we're gonna we're gonna bust that thing up this week and install this. And um, let me let me grab it here real quick for you. We're gonna make this big beast even heavier. You know, we'll throw an L can on it too, just for kicks, because why not? It's already a it's already a boat anchor. So. That's going to allow, so and if you guys don't know, um, the HK417 series, whether it's an MR762 or G28 or the 416, whatever, uh, they have, they don't take your standard um, like AR10 buffer. It's actually quite a bit thicker. It's a thick with a couple C's and uh, Law Tactical came through for those HK fanboys and made a folder for it. So pretty cool. Looking forward to getting that on there again and uh, we'll play with that. Well, that'll be the gear of the week for this week, so we'll get, we'll get into that over the next few days. So again, the content, the next three days is gonna be purely PWS. It's gonna be 
the overview, and then the shooting video, and then finally the disassembly video so you guys get to see inside as well. I'll probably throw some inside content for the overview there as well. Um, and then I wanted to say we're wrapping up the giveaway on the cross mags. If you guys haven't seen these before, they're really cool. If you guys are in a, in a state or a country that restricts your magazines to only 10, this is probably the best option out there. Two coupled polymer translucent mags. These are super durable, run fantastic with uh, 223, 556, 300 blackout. They have more calibers and colors on the way. And I just did a giveaway for these guys. You probably have tonight to get in before I, I close down for entries and start uh, doing the draws. And we're gonna do a sixth post because I talked to Cross, Cross Industries. They wanna do a giveaway for every single band state and province. So I'm gonna do my five draws or however, I think they, were, they said we're gonna, do, we're gonna do draws for five uh, up front. Pick those people, find out where, what state or province they're from. And uh, when, I, when I have to do it to ship them anyways. And uh, then we're gonna do a final post for everyone that didn't get in on that draw. They, we wanna give one away to every other uh, province and, and band state basically. So we wanna get one winner. The, every winner is gonna get a pair of these things. So four mags total. And uh, these things are reconvertible too, which is really neat. So you can, you can swap around the directions and you can swap out the floor plate and get another two combinations too. Really neat system. Again, Cross Mag uh, from Cross Industries. So check my Instagram out. That's only on Instagram. Uh, check me out there at arm.and.gun. Link in the description below. And that's that's that. Okay. Um, this month's uh, giveaway is going to be showing up real swift. Should be showing up in the next week. So I'll throw it in the next gun vlog with what these guys sent me to uh, give away. Go Big Tactical. Tom, thank you very much. Some cool kit from Area 419. And uh, I'm going to see if I can't get That's going to be Canada only. I'm going to see if I can't get a U.S. giveaway uh, going at the same time time because I got a couple companies I'm talking to that are interested in, in pursuing that as well. Uh, quick update on the Fleur, courtesy of Wolverine Supplies, knocking over my other stuff here. Fleurs are cool. If you guys haven't played with thermal, you need to give it a go. This stuff is just, it's its hot. It's hot and it's its cold and it'll let you know what's uh, what's what out there basically. So now that it's, uh, it's actually a decent temperature in most of Canada, I'm going to start running around with that thing and seeing, uh, it's really cool because you can use it day and night. So I might just like take my dog off leash and just like let her go and then uh, try to track her down with that thing or something. We'll find some fun things to do with the thermal because honestly there's tons of cool stuff. And uh, muzzle devices, I just have a bunch of muzzle devices kicking around. A bunch of new ones came in. I got one from Precision Armament, their EFAB. Love this little pattern, I think it's really cool. Um, just neat, neat stuff. So I'm curious to try this guy out. We've got a VG6, from VG6 we've got their Epsilon 556 along with their cage um, muzzle brake, which is really just like a really low profile, slick, slim system. You're used to seeing the really big bulky things. And this is just a nice little tight, tight little unit. And uh, I think it's kind of cool. I'm gonna try that thing out as well. Got a cookie cutter from Strike. This thing I just bought, used. I, I've, wanted, I've seen these things for ages and I've always wanted one. And one came up for the right price. It was super cheap and I was like, yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it. So. I did, and that popped in this week here as well. Last guy is a battle comp, and I have this because it was a takeoff off a of knight's upper that had that was in need of a triple tap, which a buddy kindly gave me. I helped him find something pretty pretty darn cool, and uh, for his he was gracious enough about that that he uh, tossed me a used triple tap. Super pumped about that, and we'll see that on the channel here before too long. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up there. I don't want to keep this thing. Going too much longer. Oh, one more, one more. Okay, Lantac Dragon, but this one is for the MPX. So, gonna get this thing rocking on an MPX, the short barrel. It's gonna be a good time. I just need to get their BMD. I want to get their. I want to try their blast mitigation device as well, because I haven't uh, haven't had one of those in my hands before. So, and I've tried out a lot of the other ones. So, anyways, that's it for tonight. Thanks, ton guys. See you next week. Arm and Gun out.